Hello Aquarius, how's it going? I hope you're very well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a general reading for February because I was called to do general readings uh, but I'm going to do love readings again tomorrow but yeah this is a timeless reading but it's for February but it is timeless so whenever you happen to find it will be when you are meant to see the reading. You are very welcome here Aquarius, thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading, I really appreciate it. And if you feel like it resonates with you and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, you know, I would appreciate that a lot, Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, so you have the Eight of Cups here and you have the Six of Wands. Wow, pretty poignant message. So you have Moving On and you have Healing Begins with the Six of Wands. Six of Swords, sorry. Um, so you're moving on from something. Definitely moving on from something. And the Eight of Cups as well, it talks about getting on your true path, Aquarius. So like where you were before is kind of not, I mean, you were meant to be there at the time, but you're, you're not meant to stay there. There's somewhere else that you're supposed to be. But the Six of Swords here, like this talks about, um, you know, you've kind of been in the Five of Swords. So you may be dealing with one person or a group of people or a job situation that's been you know very five of swords energy like it's bas basically just been a waste of time you know you've put love into it you've put effort you've put time into it you know you've given it your all and it hasn't worked out and it's time to move on because it's just like pouring love into a black hole right but um or time or money into a black hole but with the six of swords here this is you moving into a much more calm and peaceful, you know, time of your life. You're, you're healing. You're definitely moving on from something. Okay, you have, oh my God. <laughs> you have the Eight of Cups again. First card out in your reading. And see how there's a gap there in the cups? The story behind this card, right? She's supposed to, the cup was not being appreciated where it was. So she's taken her cup away somewhere where it's going to be appreciated. Um, someone may have broken your heart here. You have the Three of Swords. But this is not a love reading, you know, so it could be, it could be anyone that's broken your heart. You know, maybe you took a job that you thought was going to be awesome and then it turned out your boss was a dick. Or it could be family or something or friends that have been undermining you or something, but you're leaving something behind. But the thing is, you're leaving it to get on your true path. You're leaving it to get where you're supposed to be. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles. Which I will have to clarify. But I think there's maybe an energy here of like deciding where you want to go now. You might also have two options. I'm going to clarify that. Thank you. So you have the Eight of Swords here. So no more feeling stuck. It might have been a lack of self-confidence that kept you stuck. You know, maybe you were kind of in a job, <coughs> excuse me, Aquarius, that you hated or you felt like you weren't being appreciated in because you felt like you weren't confident enough to go and do something else, right? Like you weren't good enough to leave the job and get a better job. But you're coming out of this now. You're not feeling, you're not going to be feeling stuck anymore. You're like, no, I'm done. I'm out. I'm done with this. Because also it could be to do with like a love relationship or a family or friends. You know, that energy of like, well, I better stay with this person because or better not piss off my family because I need them. Right. And you're just like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. And you have this ace of cups here. So this is self-love. You finally, you're finally finding your confidence here. You're doing things because you've, you know, you found this like self-love basically. You're not doing things out of fear anymore. You're not staying in places or with people uh, out of fear anymore. You have the lovers here. So this usually represents some kind of choice or it could be that you're meeting a soulmate. 
I'm going to clarify that. That's wild that you got the Eight of Cups twice. Okay, clarify the Eight of Cups for me, please. Okay, you have temperance. Okay, so this is, someone could apologize to you, like there could be some kind of reconcilia reconciliation, like, like forgiveness. You might forgive someone and it allows you to move on. Whether that's because they come back and give you an apology or because you just decide to forgive them and you're, you're moving on here. You could, it could be a Sagittarius you were, you know, there was some kind of issue with. But the temperance is all about balance and moderation and patience. And um, kind of balancing toxic energies. So with the Eight of Cups and the Temperance, like you're balancing the toxic energies by walking away from something, basically. I, I, I think there's just something that you've decided you're just like, no, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. I have to leave. And it's come from a place it's not come from like a reactionary place it's come from a place of being really balanced and knowing exactly what you want and knowing exactly what's good for you so this could be something that's kind of been eating away at you for a while oh you have the two of pentacles with the two of cups Um, I'm just going to go and turn off my heating, Aquarius, hold on a second. Sorry, Aquarius, um, I usually get too hot like once I've started doing the readings, but you have two of pentacles and the two of cups here. There's, there's, some, there's some kind of coming together here and I feel like it's you. There's like a coming together of two energies here. You're balancing the old with the new, you're like reconciling some part of yourself. It's like you're coming to terms with something. You're just completely coming to terms with something. Okay, clarify that Eight of Swords, please. You have the High Priestess with the Eight of Swords. So you're no longer feeling stuck because you're really heavily listening to your intuition. Your intuition is on point at the moment. And you're getting all these messages through from like your guides. You're probably getting them when you're sleeping. Getting little messages throughout the day. I think you're feeling very strong. And if you're not there yet, you will be. <laughs> The strength card just came out when I was saying that. Okay, and clarify the lovers, please. Okay. All right, there's somebody else coming in. If you're walking away from someone, there's someone else coming in. I don't know if this, there's, okay, you could be walking away from a person and someone else comes in, or you could be walking away from a job and someone else comes in. There's something that you're, you're currently doing that is somehow preventing this person from coming in, basically. Um, or this could be a new opportunity of some kind. So what they want to, what they want to say here is don't worry about what's on the other side because you're walking away from something but you're going to gain something. So this could be a person 
or it could be um, a job opportunity. So this is the Knight of Pentacles with the lovers. So for some of you, this is a soulmate coming in. This Knight of Pentacles, it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, but th this is like your true love coming in. So you're walking away from something, but you're gaining something so much better. Whoever this person is, it's been really, really slow. Like either you already know them and it's taken a, a long time for them to, you know, make this offer. Um, or, you know, you've maybe been single for a long time and it's taken this, this offer a long time to come in. Um, it could also be, like I said, this could be a job offer, the Knight of Pentacles. But I feel, it's like, it's like you had to leave something behind to make space for this offer to come in. You know, maybe you spend all your time, you're like, oh, like, I would really like to have a job working in a dog shelter. Just for an example, right? And, you know, you look for jobs online because you've got your job at the moment, obviously, because, you, you know, you have to eat, right? <laughs> um, so you've got your job at the moment, but it's like when you're looking for jobs, like, you know, the one that you really want, you can't find it. But then it's like as soon as you walk away, <clears throat> excuse me, from your current job, you find this other job. It's something like that. I mean, I'm not saying you should quit your job, right? But um, it's something like that. Or it's like you hand in your notice and you get this new position. Or like you walk away from this person and this new person comes in. Or like maybe you choose to walk away from your friends and this new opportunity comes in. Something, something like that. You're walking away from something to get something else and it's karmic. It's something you're, you're like supposed to get it. Like this is your good karma coming in now. It could be a Libra. Um, but there's a lot of balance. You're getting to a place where you're feeling really, really balanced here. Eight of Pentacles. There's like a lot of growth here. Some of you have two people in your life and you're walking away from one of them to go towards the other. There's like a decision that you have to make here. There's a decision between two people or there's a decision between two jobs or two ways of life or something like that. And you have the Ace of Swords here. I, I feel like this has been a long time in coming, whatever it is, like trying to make the decision to do this has been a long time in coming but you're gonna get the breakthrough that you need now. Some of you, this is about starting your own business, but I feel there's something for some of you that you're really, really good at, that you really wanna start focusing more on. Some of you are signing a deal like some of you are signing some kind of contract about something that you're really, really good at, some kind of skill that you have. Yeah, and you have the world there's some kind of accomplishment. There's something that you're very, very good at. Um, and you're gonna see an accomplishment in it. But I feel like it's something like you have to have the faith, you have to have the trust, you have to start it without knowing how it's gonna go, you know? But there is something, the world is an accomplishment. It's something you're gonna have to work hard at it, or it's something that you've been working very hard at but yeah, there's like a celebration coming in. 
it's gonna bring you I don't want to say a ton of money but with the two of pentacles like it's gonna bring you enough money that you're starting to get balanced and I feel like it's grounding your energy because it, it's something that you're good at or like when you walk away from this other person or when you walk away from whoever this is you're walking away from it gives you clarity of mind um, enough for you to start working on yourself because there is something that you're going to do in the future that you're going to be very celebrated for and this is a huge achievement walking away from this situation is a huge accomplishment because it it's closing down a cycle Okay, so you have the princess has just come out here. You can be your own knight. I'm going to pull another one, but this one seemed to want to come out. So there is something here about, it's like you suddenly realize that you're the one in control. Like you suddenly realize you're the one that you, you don't need to be rescued. Hold on a second. Princess, you may be in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured you have the power within to persevere. You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince or a chivalrous knight in shining armour. You've got your own shield and sword and God's help anyone who thinks they can do a better job. Damn straight. Yeah, you certainly decided. Whatever this was, like whoever was taking advantage of you, you're just like, no, nah, done. I'm the one in charge here. <laughs> yeah, listen, your hard work is not going unnoticed. If there's something you've been working really, really hard at, Spirit wants you to know that your hard work is not going unnoticed. You will have a reason to celebrate. You will be acknowledged for whatever this is you're doing because you're very good at it. Okay, and one more for Aquarius, please. Another one for Aquarius. Wow, and you have tree, let them go at the bottom of the deck. So that's a number nine card as well. So you're very, very close to the end of some kind of cycle here. But I think it involves, yeah, it's like the cycle doesn't end until you walk away from this person or the situation, because bear in mind it could be a job as well, right? Um, or your boss. You often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you're an empath. But these days you're not so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those of us who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. Wow. And you have evil queen number two, another two. So the twos are balance, things coming together, making decisions. Um, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Some, oh my God, I can't believe this. Someone in your life is mistreating you. God, sometimes spirits just on the nose, eh? Uh, you keep trying to see the good in them, but they just keep disappointing you again and again. The truth is some people don't deserve second chances. As difficult as it may be, this is your sign that you need to cut them loose. Unfollow them and block their number. It's time to move on. Do whatever it takes to find some inner peace, for it's just as precious as gold. And I want to say as well, you have something to work on here. You don't have time for screwing around with, with whatever this person is. Like you don't have, 
you don't have the spare energy for this person to suck your energy. You know what I mean? Damn. So, <laughs> I hope that was helpful, Aquarius. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pleasure to read for you. Uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it a lot. And take care, Aquarius. Lots of love and light.